God, get off. Mia, you can't stand in the middle of the camera. Oh my God. <laughs> what the <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding? Get out of the camera. No, it's not yours. So my kitchen table has been seeming a little bit black. And I thought maybe a table runner would kind of help bring in the Christmas spirit a little bit in there. So I made a really simple table runner and the colors go great with my color scheme because I have a lot of gold and silver and white. So this actually works perfect, plus I can actually use it for other events because it looks super snazzy. So for materials, I got some really nice fabric and of course you're gonna need some pattern paper and a ruler and a pencil, scissors, all that jazz. Um, you're also going to need some yarns so that you can make the little tassels and I also use beads and some hot glue. I also use some trim and also some lining just so I can cover up the back side of my table runner. So I've actually measured out 18 inches, that's about half the table runner size. you're gonna want to mark down the overhang that you want to overhang on your table. Um, I chose about five inches and this is the total length of your table runner and then you're gonna mark the width of it. Um, mine is actually gonna be four and a half inches. I've also put this little point on the end of my table runner. You can either make yours a, t a rectangle or you can make a curve, whatever you like. I chose a little point because I thought it would look a little bit more fancy. And then we're going to add our seam. I'm using half an inch seam all the way around my table runner. And this part is going to be your fold. You don't want to put any seam on that. So this is what it should look like and once you get this, you're going to want to trace this out again and then you're going to want to tape it right next to each other. So it's going to look like this. So once you have that, you're going to cut it, cut it out of your fabric and you're going to make sure that your fold is up against the fold of the fabric and you're just going to cut all the way around. And then you're going to do the same thing with your lining fabric. I put some interfacing on mine just because it's super thin. And I just use this so that it would make it a little bit more stiff. And I'm using fusible interfacing so it just glues right onto the fabric. And once you got that done, you're going to sandwich everything together and you're going to want to sew all the way around. You want to leave a little space open though so that you can turn this inside out. And then you're gonna to wanna to cut the bulk all the way around, but you're gonna leave the little space that you left open, you're not gonna cut that. And then you're gonna turn it all inside out. It's gonna look weird, but <laughs> once you get everything ironed down and flat, it'll look way better. So here's the opening that we left open. We're gonna now pin it together and sew across. And then you can sew all the way around just to make sure like it doesn't you know, flip the other way or anything like that. So now we're gonna make our tassels. To make the tassels, we're just gonna wanna get some string and we're gonna use some kind of cardboard piece so that we can wrap our string around. You're gonna lay down your string that you cut and then you're gonna get another string you don't have to cut this one you can leave it attached to the little yarn ball and then just start wrapping it around and once you have a good enough amount wrapped around you're gonna to want to cut it off and then make a nice knot at the top. You want to knot it a couple of times just to make sure it doesn't come loose. Once that's all done, this is what it 
should look like. And now we're going to cut the ends. Now that we have the ends cut, we are now going to wrap a string around the very top of our little tassel. You want to make sure you tie a couple of knots on this side as well because you don't want it to come undone. And then just start wrapping around. Once you have the amount that you like, go ahead and find the other end of the string and then make a nice little knot. And again, make a couple knots so that it doesn't come out. And then snip. And you'll want to make two of these. And now here I'm cutting off the excess amount of string so that I can hot glue it to my table runner. And I'm going to hot glue it to the very tips. And then I'm going to hot glue the rest of this trim all the way around my table runner. You can sew this, it's probably a little bit more valuable if you sew it, but I just wanted to go ahead and get it done, so I just hot glued it. And after that, you'll make a nice little string and then you'll put some beads on it. And this is what you're gonna wrap around your tassels just to give it a little bit more of a fancy vibe. Make sure you knot it a couple times. You can still adjust this if it's if the knot's like in the front or something like that. You can just like switch it around so that it's in the back. And then once it's finished, it should look something like this. I also added the little tree limbs to my table, more Christmassy. I hope you do try out a little table runner. It really does make a difference. I didn't think it would, but it actually does. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And again, happy holidays. Bye.